We're back and looking at some of the amazing birds you'll see at the National Aviary's brand new exhibit called Escape to the Islands. Visitors will not only be able to see rare tropical birds like flamingos, parrots, and African penguins, they'll also be able to feed some of those birds as well. The exhibit is filled with palm trees, greenery, and tropical flowers to transport you to the islands without even leaving Pittsburgh, which is great. Yeah. And one of the birds from the new aviary exhibit is with us right now. We want to welcome Disco the Penguin here with Kathy Schlott. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> My sister actually just visited yesterday. She said the new exhibit is so cool. Yeah. I'm very excited to yeah. hear that. We are trying to bring Ellie. Yeah, oh, Ellie loved please. it. Excellent. We want to make it fun for people of all ages. Yeah. And so you can really come to the aviary and skate to the islands. It's warm. You have lush tropical plants all around you. And then, of course, we can feature some oh. really unique island birds. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you said disco is your favorite, and I can tell the disco loves you very much. Yes. Tell disco is my favorite <laughs> penguin by far. We have a special bond. He's well behaved. <laughs> is it a he or a she? How do you know? Uh, it's a he. We actually had to do a DNA test to tell if it was. A male oh. or a female because they look exactly the same. They do. And how old is Disco? Disco is six now. He's but six. I remember when he hatched. Oh. <laughs> You've been with him his whole life. I have been. Yes. Well, it's it's interesting because a lot of people think that most penguins need a winter climate to survive, but. And in fact, most penguins are actually from warm climates, mm -hmm. and not a lot of people realize that. And people also don't realize that islands play a key part with penguins. Even African penguins, we all know they live on the southern tip of Africa, but there's a chain of islands on that tip, and the penguins will use them for nesting, resting, and feeding. That's fantastic. So, so tell me about um, the island exhibit. People can go, they can feed some of the birds. Yes, yeah, so you're going to learn about how penguins use islands. You're going to be able to take a royal stroll through our tropical forest in Canaries Call <laughs> with our iconic Victoria Crown pigeons. You'll be able to participate in a flamingo island adventure where you get close and <laughs> learn about your microphones. <laughs> I know. The flamingos <laughs> and some of the other unique rare species in that room. And of course, you're going to learn also about our Malayan flying foxes, our bats. Not a lot of people know about the bats, and we're going to do training <laughs> sessions, demonstrate their amazing five-foot wingspan, and really wow. educate you about. That's a big the bats. bat. They're <gasps> big. Oh. They're adorable, though. When you come and you see them without their with their wings spread, you get a really close look at their faces. Aww. They're so. <laughs> I can't wait to go. I, I, I was telling Jill yesterday, I said, oh, that's my next assignment. I want to go to the new exhibit. Yes. <laughs> just to escape Don't a little visit bit. Us. Yeah. <laughs> and can we can we give him a little pet? Yes, if you okay, just, just want right to touch him right on the back. And you go down, right? Correct. And so some of uh, some of what you can do, Hello. as we mentioned, feeding them, you can kind of get close up with uh, some of the birds there. Yes, there's going to be unique feeding opportunities, such as in our Flamingo Island Adventure, mm -hmm. you can hold blueberries and have like a white tailed children take it right out of your fingers. Wouldn't that be fun? That Maybe would be a little fun. terrifying, but also fun. I know. Yes. All right. I well, think your girls and Rocco would like that, Heather. And this is all part of general admission if you come to the aviary. Exactly, yes. And there, I know that sometimes you guys do add-ons if you want to do an encounter or something additional. And we do have encounters. We have, you can feed a small arasari, which is a small take of type of toucan, some of our lorikeets, and there's private encounters with our penguins, very our sloth, cool. and some other animals. Oh, very right. cool. Thank you so much for You're joining really us. Welcome. And come escape to the islands at the National Aviary. It's open now through the end of May.